Hey guys, Chad here. Uh, sorry, my disheveled look. I have not showered yet today and I have not shaven yet today because today I am getting ready to go camping for the weekend. So you will not hear from me for a few days after today. So that it was important to get a quick video out. Now a couple things before I get started here. If you're new to this uh, Facebook live feed, come to the Electric Academy page if you're not already here. Go to the top and you'll see that there's a place where I've got a resource, a PDF of online resources for electricians. It's awesome. Click on the learn more button, send me your email, I'll blast that off to you. Another thing is the past couple days I've been driven nuts because my website was down. It was a problem between GoDaddy and WordPress and finally, whatever, I was on the phone and then I was on chat all morning getting it fixed. So the site is back up. www.theelectricacademy.com is back up and running. Thank the good Lord. Also, before I get started on today's post, I would like to call your attention to, I put a post in yesterday, I know I put a lot of posts out there and a lot of polls lately, I'm asking questions because I honestly want to know what you guys are at and I'm just trying to figure out what my next step is going to be. So yesterday I posted a poll about whether or not you guys would be into an online community or subscription based service. If you could do me a favor after this video too is just go check that poll out and give me a yes or no and honestly I, I want to know the no's just as much as the yeses. So if you could do me a huge favor and just go to that poll. If you think it's a good idea, look at the description, hit yes. If you don't think it's something you're interested in, please hit no. I just want to know if this is something I should be even bothering, waste, not wasting my time on, but putting my time towards. I've heard from a few people a big yes, though. So that's kind of where I'm leaning to right now. Now, today's video, like I got an awesome message. Let me just read this to you. I'm just pulling it up on my phone from a previous student of mine and a uh, academy member here. So he says here, his name's Tyler. It says, hi Chad, great to see your meter safety video, great stuff, I've been doing super well. Working with the company, got signed off in June, congratulations Tyler, that's friggin' awesome. He's an awesome guy, hard working kid, well he's not a kid anymore, but just one of those students that you don't forget, and you guys know who you are when you've been in my class or always in my class. Uh, he's going to be running a 41 story building soon with lots of help from his foreman, which is so awesome. Lots to do with everything I learned from you, and I appreciate that always. So, uh, that was kind of a warm, feelsy thing, thank you Tyler. Now back to the videos, and this is today's topic. As I've been running sites and having guys coming into the trade, one of the biggest things I find is the lack of knowledge towards tool value. Hmm. So many companies spend so much on tools and the guys just don't understand the value of choppers, hammer drills, band saws, etc. Our trade demands respect and a good way of managing tools would be awesome. Yes, yes. I've talked about this in supervising courses and it's a huge loss towards companies and it needs to get addressed. He puts an exclamation mark and I stand by that. Uh, keep in touch, man. Keep up the videos. Thanks, Tyler. You might see me in, my entrepreneur, in your entrepreneurial course sometime soon. I teach a night course on entrepreneurship for uh, the trades. It's an awesome course. So if you're ever in the Vancouver area, worth checking out. Uh, thanks for everything, Chad. Thank you, Tyler. That is awesome. What a great topic. I think when we go to these companies, when I was an apprentice, I never really thought too much about it. When I first started, my boss bought me a pouch, and so which was awesome. And he got me not just a pouch, but the whole thing of tools. And I remember the first time I lost my linesman. We were working in a cable tray. I left him up in the tray, went home for the day, came back the next day, and my linesmen were gone. And so I went to my boss and said, hey, Ron, I lost my linesman. Do you have any others? And he was not impressed because we didn't know linesmen are like 85 bucks. I was absolutely blown away. Again, this guy was amazing and he bought me another pair, but it just hit me then that I had no idea what my tools were worth. Now, most of you guys have bought your tools, so you know how, your hand, how much your hand tool is worth, but you go on the site and you go into the job box and you're grabbing drills, you're grabbing chop saws, portable band saws, even ladders. Like, do you even have any understanding how much this stuff costs? Just, I went online and just some of the things that get hammered all the time. Cordless drill, like a good Milwaukee 18 volt cordless drill. Go Milwaukee. 150 bucks. Portable bandsaw, which are awesome. If you're doing any kind of tray work or anything, 620 bucks. A fiberglass step ladder, which is what we should be using. No aluminum ladders out there, guys, is 295 bucks just for the six foot one. That's not even the eight foot. I think the eight foot's like 400 bucks and the 10 foot is getting close to 500. An extension ladder, again, a fiberglass one, you're looking at about 600 bucks. A fish tape, just the fish tape alone, 75 bucks. Chop saws, you know, for cutting your strut and stuff, that's 400 bucks. Those are things that we never even think about when we're on site, right? You just grab it, you zip through it, you do whatever, you kind of drop it, you're going. 
but it's not your money and it's money that's going into the company and the company needs to make money too. And I know you think your boss is out there making money hand over fist. He's not. Some of your bosses might be doing really well, but you would be surprised at how much money these guys take home at the end of the day. After they have to buy tools, they have to pay insurances, they have to pay your vacation pay, they have to pay all your stats, all that stuff. It adds up quick. Just start running a company and you'll start to understand how quick this stuff adds up. And every time that you wreck a drill or drop a, something off a ladder or lose something or don't take care of something, it comes out of their pocket, not out of yours. And remember, they're the ones paying you guys. So it is a bit of a privilege. You are helping them out for sure. But they are also providing you employment. So it's important that you take the time and take care of their tools just as much as you would take care of yours. Now, I know this is going to fall on deaf ears to some of you guys because I know some of you guys would just take your own tools, leave them out in the rain, and who cares? But I know a lot of you guys, especially if you're looking at this page here and other pages, then you will know how to take care of tools. And it's just, it blows my mind when I start seeing guys just treating their boss's tools like absolute shite. All right, there's my rant. Rant over. Thank you, Tyler. Tyler Solis, everybody. Such an awesome suggestion. If you guys have suggestions, please, as always, send me a private message through Facebook or you can send me an email, chad at theelectricacademy.com. If you get signed up to that uh, PDF, you get on my newsletter as well, which I send out about once a week. So Sometimes it's like two or three times a week, but I'm slowing it down to once a week. So you'll get the information on that. And um, yeah, thanks, Tim. I shall rant on. It's amazing. It just, again, when Tyler brought that up, I just, I got to knock my stomach because I've had guys work for me and seen them treat my tools like crap. And it just drives me crazy. We, I worked at one company where we would get a free truck. Well, not a free truck. We got a truck to use. And it was amazing how those guys just ragged on those trucks. Like their philosophy was, you don't own a pin in it, so pin it. So they were just treating them like garbage. Anyways, make sure you're checking this stuff out, guys. Make sure you're sharing this. If you're liking this video, whether it's live or not, you can still hit the like button on it. And make sure you're sharing it with other groups and other people. I'm getting lots of great feedback, so I appreciate that. And um, that's basically all I want to have to say about that. Again, there's that post that I put in yesterday, a poll. If you can, if you could just go down there, do me a huge solid and just give me a yes or a no. I want to know both if it's a yes or no. Hey, Josh, I see you there. I responded to you. I sent you an email. So make sure you check that out. Um, you signed up to one of my, my free courses there on AC Generation. I just asked you a couple of questions about that. So thank you for signing up for that. It's awesome. Okay, I am going to let this go because I'm approaching my 10-minute mark. We all know how I want to keep it under 10 minutes. So check out theelectricacademy.com. It is online and live now. Make sure you like this page. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you're doing everything you can to stay safe while you're working out there too. That's the most important thing. I will not be doing any videos for tomorrow because I'm on the road. I won't be doing any videos Saturday because I'm on the road. Sunday, I'm on the road. So I probably won't hear from you till Monday. Again, I've said that before though, haven't I? <laughs> All right, loving doing these. So let's keep it up. You guys work safe out there. It is my Friday. It is your Thursday. So um, yeah, let's hit the road. Oh, Tim, yeah, I'm going to send you a text message in a second. I uh, made a huge mistake. <laughs> Anyways, talk to you guys soon. Oh, before I forget. Yeah, here's a good one. Make sure, you, speaking of Tim, Tim Carson is a buddy of mine. I was on his podcast. He uh, has this podcast called The Guild. It's an awesome podcast. If you're into podcasts, you need to listen to it. If you're not into podcasts, you need to listen to it. It is for tradespeople. You need to listen to it. There's so much value in these. And not only because I was on it, but I was on, it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday's podcast. And it was great. I had so much fun. Tim and I have a great camaraderie there. But there's other guys that he talks to as well, and there's so much value. If you're struggling with your apprenticeship, struggling in the trade, or just want to learn more about it, listen to his podcast, The Guild. So just go to the Apple's iTunes store and go to podcasts and just check out The Guild. Or you can go to www.timcarson.ca, and that is T-I-M-C-A-R-S-O-N dot C-A. It is so good. All right? That's all I got to say about that. Well, if you want to hear my story... And it is a good story. You're going to want to check out that uh, podcast. All right, guys. Work safe. Having lots of fun. Um, I will talk to you guys on Monday. Let you know how my weekend went. I'm going camping up in Penticton area. So we'll be hitting some vineyards. That'll be good. But I'm going with a four-year-old. So it could be very interesting. All right. Later, guys.